Hello, I'm Rugga Gunai, and this is my first review on my brand new solo channel. Um, I thought, thought I'd actually try to start with something slightly up to date, so I'm going to go with Trials Evolution, as you can see there on the screen. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but I am. I will try to stop um, shortly. If you've never played Trials before, firstly, what the fuck? Secondly, it's a very simplistic game, or at first it seems a simplistic game. All you do is get a bike from point A to point B in the fastest time possible. However, as you go along, the tracks start to get harder and harder and harder to the point that you just kind of, well, I'll get to that in a bit. The controls are fairly simple. Uh, right trigger accelerates, left trigger brakes. Uh, the left analog stick moves your, uh, your biker. Um, and that's pretty much it. Apart from your friendly little red button, the B button, which you, in the later, uh, harder and more extreme stages, will be spamming quite a lot. The controls are fairly responsive, and of course the handling uh, improves with the better bikes when you unlock them. Sadly, though, there is only four. Well, five, uh, if you include the donkey, but you need to uh, get a certain achievement on Trials HD, to which I do not have because I suck balls at trials, quite frankly. In fact, the only problem I actually have with the controls for this game is the fact that I'm not entirely sure of all the little tricks you can do with the bike to get further and further in. Because, like I said earlier, I suck balls at trials. So I hear you cry, what's in the single player? Well, as previously stated, um, a buttload of tracks. Um, you also have skill games to play as well, uh, which are quite a lot of fun. Um, but the main goal for the single player is just to uh, do as best as, uh, as you can. You try to go faster than your friends. Um, you get to rub it in their faces when you have uh, finally sort of beaten their score. And it's all the more sweet when you've just done it by a few, few milliseconds because you can just send them a message on Xbox Live going, <laughs> You suck balls, you big hairy ape men. It's a lot of fun uh, playing through the single player right up until you get to the extreme tracks. Then, then things start to get a little bit frustrating, as you're about to see. The video has been fast forwarded um, because uh, the time basically it took, and I don't want to spend hours forcing you to watch this fucking video. So, as you can see. Um, it's quite frustrating, and all I wanted to do by that point was pull my hair out. I did kind of want to complete that level. I was, I, I was, I thought, you know, I'm, I'm quite far into it. But in the end, frustration just got the better of me, and I nearly, nearly killed my controller. So I thought, you know what, best put it down, and uh, and 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 not play it really. But then that is the only problem with trials is it can be a little bit frustrating, but. That's part and parcel with the whole Trials experience. You have to be frustrated because it makes you get better at the game. The better you get at the game, you, the, you know, when you finally, finally do complete one of those damned extreme tracks, it is almost as good as finding a, 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 a £20 note in your pocket that you thought you'd spent. It's, it's that sort of joyous. Ha oh, money! So, what about the other game modes? Firstly, you have the multiplayer, which is uh, you can play via either Xbox Live or, or and get this, on your Xbox with three other people in your house. A rarity these days, something that I actually praise this game for because I'm, it's getting thin on the ground to find games you can actually have people at home with you and play for those boozy nights in or... You know, hell, just a, just a lazy Saturday afternoon so you can kick back and play a few games. And the multiplayer is just as fun as a single player, although it's a hell of a lot less frustrating and a hell of a lot more ha 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 as you're beating, uh, beating strangers uh, who you see just balls up for no reason, or your friends, um, which you encourage to balls up by trying to put them off in any means necessary. Although it doesn't have that many tracks on the actual uh, multiplayer, you can download a hell of a lot more using the third and final feature 
of Trials Evolution, which would be its track editor. And the track editor for this game is absolutely amazing. Um, firstly, um, you don't have to make any tracks by yourself. You can just simply go on uh, and pick other people's and, and, and try theirs. Uh, uh, there's a huge community. There's lots of people making tracks, which is always a good thing for a game. It gives it more long, uh, longevity. Um, so it means you you know you haven't wasted money on a on, on a game that you're basically going to complete and then sit there and go well that's that done I'm never going to pick that one up again. But if you're unlike me and you you uh, you like making these tracks or or you've got the skills to make these tracks and I really really do not, it's definitely worth uh, worth trying. You've got loads of features that will keep you busy for hours. Um, there truly are some absolutely amazing uh, tracks on on there. Uh, sadly, I for some reason I didn't actually record any um, to show you, but. If you've got this game, go on there. It's worth it. Look at them. Some are shit. Uh, but, you know, that's part and parcel. Of course, there's always going to be bad in, in the bunch. Um, but most of them are fantastic and wonderful and brilliant and amazing. And you will be wondering how the hell these people did that thing. And then after you look at your map that you've made, you'll be sitting there thinking, well, I've, I've, that's crap. So you'll try harder and your maps will get better as well. And that's all good. So, is Trials Evolution worth the uh, 1,200 Microsoft points they're asking? Short answer, yes. Long answer, are you fucking kidding me? Of course it is. It's uh, one of the best games on Xbox Live Arcade. Definitely worth your money. If you haven't got it, go out and buy it. Um, if you weren't intending on buying it, download the demo. Give it a go. And you will really be, uh, be amazed by what you play. It's definitely worth it. I recommend it to everyone. Especially you. Yeah, you, you creepy little bastard. Sitting there. Naked. In your tiny little panties. You should take them off. They belong to your mother. I'm Rock Go 9 Hope you enjoyed the review. And I'll see you next time. Peace out, bitches. need to tell the truth. Tell no lies. Everything you think, do, and say Is in the pill you took today